Here we have a 1968 Marcus GT 1600 Crossflow version. Uh, this is the car that has the wooden monocoque chassis with the fiberglass body. I purchased this car on Bring a Trailer just over two and a half years ago with the intention of uh, restoring it. I love the Crossflow engine, I love cars that are powered by the Crossflow engine. And so uh, I bought the car home and then um, didn't take too long to discover that uh, the wood on the chassis was quite dilapidated. Um, it was sitting around outside for about 20 years and every piece of wood had rotted away. So it was beyond repair. Um, my next step was to call Rory at the Marcus Heritage in the UK uh, to see how I could proceed with repairing the frame. Um, but as luck would have it, he had a wooden monocoque that they had built for another customer and the customer couldn't complete the project and so I ended up uh, buying the monocoque and body shell so it was a brand new unit which uh, he said was the first one they had actually built since they ceased production in 1969. Anyway uh, I ripped uh, the car apart and uh, started rebuilding all the various components and um, doing all the body work on the new body to start uh, assembling this car. And let me just open the hood. So here you can see the Crossflow engine, which is the original engine that came with the car. I dismantled it and ended up boring it plus 90, so it's just under 1700 cc's. It has um, 10 and a half to one pistons. It has the max speed connecting rods, which are a copy of the Carrillo's a Burton big valve head and a Piper 300 cam it has steel rocker posts in the head and a brand new pair of Weber DCOE 40 carburetors. I purchased all the parts for the engine from HPE which are Harris Performance Engines from the UK. They're world renowned for building some of the finest uh, crossflow and Pinto engines on the racetracks and uh, they didn't build this engine I just bought the parts from James over there and he was very helpful with uh, his knowledge and advice. So yeah, the engine runs really well. Um, would probably benefit from running on a dyno to do a final setting on the carburetors. They're quite finicky and when they are set up perfectly, they really make a lot of power. Uh, the gearbox is the original Cortina four-speed gearbox. It has a light and flywheel and a new clutch. Um, all the suspension is rebuilt. Uh, Marcus used the Triumph uh, GT6 or Spitfire front suspension and this car I changed the hubs because originally with the Triumph front end and the Ford rear end they found it easier to re-drill the Ford to a Triumph lug pattern um, but this this car I put the Ford lug pattern back on the rear end and bought some new hubs from the UK which are made from aluminium and they have the Ford stud pattern it's just much better for wheel selection. There's tremendous uh, selection of wheels for the Ford stud pattern as opposed to the Triumphs. You can see it has the aluminum, aluminum radiator. And I also fitted air conditioning in this car, which is quite a rarity. They never came out of the factory with AC. And here in Arizona, it's something that you need to drive cars around any time of the year. Um, all the brakes are new, new hydraulics, rebuilt calipers on the front new flexi hoses, new hard lines, um, new wiring harness, um, just just about every item on the car has been rebuilt or replaced. Uh, the interior, let's just have a look at that for a second. It's all trimmed in leather, there's actually a Porsche leather that we used, uh, it's just a nice dark grey colour that complements the orange and a custom design with the chevrons on the seats. Um, what else can we say? The, um, the wheels on the car are 7x13, a mini light copy, and uh, have a little bit more offset than the originals, and they have a 20560 Goodridge tyre fitted to them. Um, the rear end has the original 373 gears. Uh, it actually feels quite good. I don't know what the top speed would be, but um, the engine revs really well and makes plenty of power, so I'm sure it'll do well over 100 miles an hour. Um, I think that's about it. I do have some spares that go with the car. When uh, the car was shipped over, I bought an extra rear window because they're made of Lexan. And so I have a spare rear window, a spare windshield. 
I have a set of new fiberglass bumpers that will go with the car and some spare headlamp covers as well. So anyway, there you go, is the Marcus 1600 GT Crossflow. Quite a pretty little car in this bright orange. It's a Lotus, 07 Lotus chrome orange color. Uh, the car was originally orange, although not a metallic, but I just really, really like the um, pearlescent uh, aspect of this color. So um, there you go, buy yourself a new toy, get a Marcus. Okay, we'll just uh, start up the engine and you can hear it uh, idling. It is a little bit lumpy on idle because of the cam, but uh, okay.